This is Keep the Faith Ministry News. I'm Hal Mayer. Greatly respected Ivy League Harvard University has succumbed to the mania of social restructuring and is now pushing students to fight against what it calls transphobia. The school's Office of BLGTQ Student Life recently distributed a fact sheet to students on campus titled, Get the Facts About Gender Diversity, Fight Transphobia. The document asserts that sex assigned at birth and gender identity are not necessarily the same. Sex assigned at birth, gender identity, gender expression, sexual orientation, hormonal makeup, physical anatomy, and or how one is perceived in daily life are not necessarily related, the sheet reads, adding that there are more than two sexes. The page also explains that not only do genitals influence a person's sex, but also hormones and chromosomes. It cites a post by organization Intersex International to claim that at least 2% of humans are born with combinations of these characteristics that do not fit into the constructed sex binary of male and female and may identify as intersex. Even within categories of male and female, every human expression of sex is in some way biologically variant from the next, the BLGTQ office asserted. According to the document, the concept of gender is fluid and changing can be expressed in a number of ways and can change on a daily basis. For many people, cis and transgender expression, identity and self-understanding can change from day to day, the fact sheet claims. For example, gender can be expressed through any, all, and or none of the following ways. Speech, mannerisms, clothing, reflecting on one's gender identity, sharing one's gender identity with family, friends and or co-workers, makeup, grooming, name and or sex on legal documents, hormone therapy, and surgery. The fact sheet ridiculously concludes by implying that failure to comply and call people by their preferred name or pronoun is a form of systemic violence. Fixed binaries and biological essentialism manifest in gendered language, misgendering someone and the policing of trans bodies threaten the lives of trans people, it contends. In order to prove its claim, the sheet cites data from an organization called Trans Student Educational Resources, the same group that produced the much reported on Gender Unicorn last year. Trans people of color are six times more likely to experience physical violence when interacting with the police than white cisgender survivors of violence, the fact sheet claims. 80% of trans students feel unsafe at school because of their gender expression. Campus Reform reports that some Harvard students are upset that university funds were used to produce the BGLTQ office's handout. However, none were willing to risk punishment to speak on the record. Campus Reform's California campus correspondent Peter Van Voorhees, who broke the news of the fact sheet, told The Blaze that students across the country are sick of this gender nonsense and are fighting back to promote truth on their campuses. It's a shame that a historic institution like Harvard University has stooped this low, Voorhees asserted. According to the BLGTQ office's website, it has existed at the school in some capacity since 1998, with the goal of fostering a safer, more diverse, and inclusive campus by educating and engaging the Harvard community about the multiplicity of sexual and gender identities. The office also hosts a number of annual events, one of which is a queer prom. The office also runs an allyship workshop to teach students how to act as an LGBT ally in the community. Likewise also, as it was in the days of Lot, Luke 17, verse 28. This is Keep the Faith Ministry News. Thank you for watching.